Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I've been sharing lots of breakfast recipes lately and today I wanted to share another one that I think you guys will love. And this one will also double up as a side dish for a dinner entree. I'll be sharing my breakfast potatoes. We used to eat this dish all the time growing up. Back then we just called it Zharnaya Kartoshka. If you're Ukrainian or Russian, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Today I'm going to serve the potatoes with poached eggs. You could serve it with scrambled eggs, fried eggs, boiled eggs, any kind of eggs you like, or if you're using it as a side dish uh, for a dinner entree, serve it just as it is. Let's get started on this delicious recipe. And before we get started on the potatoes, first, bacon. I am going to render four slices of bacon in my saute pan, and this is going to add so much amazing flavor to our potatoes. Drop that in and then render them until golden crispy. And I'm going to remove my bacon onto a tray lined with paper towels. I'm going to dice it once it cools and then we'll add it at the end of the recipe. I'm just going to add another tablespoon of butter, a large diced onion. I've also diced three large carrots, going to add those in. Toss this all together. I'm just going to saute it for a few minutes. And now for my potatoes. Today I'm using four large red skin potatoes that I've peeled and then I cube them into half inch pieces. I think the small pieces cook a little bit faster and I love the size. I'm going to just drop them in. Once I peeled and I cubed them, I actually soaked the potatoes in cold water for about half an hour. Season the potatoes with one teaspoon of salt, a little bit of ground black pepper, and my secret ingredient in so many recipes, smoked paprika, about a quarter teaspoon. Toss all this together. And now all you have to do is sit back and let this cook. I stir this mixture every two to three minutes. Otherwise, just cook this until the potatoes are soft and tender. And let's do a 15 minute check-in. These are already smelling so good. Just keep tossing them around every couple of minutes. Now, if you're in a pinch for time, you can also cover the pan with a lid and the potatoes will cook a little bit faster. And my potatoes are almost done, so I'm gonna go ahead and return my bacon to the pan. Just diced it into small little pieces and toss that into the mix. And once your potatoes are all done, go ahead and scoop them out of the pan into a serving dish. And before serving this, I like to add a little bit of fresh dill. Now, if you're not a fan of dill, you don't have to add it. I just grew up eating it all the time, so I love the flavor of it. Sprinkle that in. And add some freshly chopped chives. And I'm going to add my poached eggs on top. Now, if you want a few uh, pointers on how to poach eggs, head over to my Eggs Benedict video, and I share some tips and tricks on how you can uh, make these. And for serving, I like to add some heirloom tomatoes on the side. Let's grab a knife and cut into this poached egg. Oh, look at that. It's going to taste so good with these potatoes and carrot and bacon. Just dip everything in there. And that's it for my breakfast potatoes or zharina kartoshka. Now, if you grew up eating this as a child, the aroma of this dish is going to be so nostalgic for you. It smells so delicious. Time to dig in. I like to get a combination of the potatoes, some of the carrots, a little bit of the egg, and of course, some bacon. Mmm. This dish makes me so happy and the potatoes taste so good. Love the combination of the potatoes with the carrots and onion and adding a little bit of that bacon and fresh dill at the end, absolutely delicious. You guys are going to love this. If you've never had breakfast potatoes or zharna kartoshka like this, you've got to give it a try. For all the ingredients, head down into my video description box. I always leave, always leave a link to my website where you guys can get the full list of ingredients. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.